I am a huge fan of Robocop. I can't believe I'm playing this in VR. This might be one of the greatest things to ever happen to PC VR. So let's get out the headset. I'm going to show you how to set this up, where to find the games that you want to play, and how you can find out what games that you own or want to discover are Unreal supported so you can enjoy them here, plus profiles so you can get the best performance out of these games. I was hoping I'd end it on friendly fire. Never mind. Let's get started. So to set this up, you need to get the Unreal Engine VR package. It could be on GitHub and I will link it down below in the description once it is live. But for me, it was from the flat to VR community discord. That downloaded zip, extract it, and you will see inside that package is the Unreal Engine injector application. You need to launch it as an administrator. If you don't open it as an admin, it does give you the option to restart and open it as such. So simply click restart. Now what you want to do is connect your headset to your PC. I'm using the Quest and I'm going to use the virtual desktop application. Open the streamer app and connect your headset. Once connected, you want to launch Steam VR. Of course, if you're using another headset, you'll simply connect it the way that you would normally do. But once connected, you want to launch Steam VR and end up in the Steam home. Once there, you can launch the Unreal Engine game that you wish to play in VR. For this example, I am booting up Robocop. Once the game has loaded, you can then go to the Unreal Engine VR app, click the drop down and select the running process, which is your game. PID here means process ID, and as I said, I'm playing Robocop. Also, I am using the Quest and Virtual Desktop, so the OpenXR is my compositor. Then click Inject. You will now want to get back inside your headset as this will enable VR mode and you'll be prompted by this window of customization options. Click your sticks in to toggle this view on or off during any game session. You should now be ready to play this game in VR. It is that simple. Of course, there are some additional more complicated things to get the best possible experience, but to get started, this is how you set up. But to make things a little easier with the configuration, there are these things called profiles, which are predefined configurations for each game that are available on the Prey Dog Getting Started guide, which I will link down below. These could enable six DOF motion controls, improve performance. You can even make your own by adjusting the configuration in that menu that we just had up that we can toggle on and off and then select export to share it with the world. So download a profile from the guide, click import in the Unreal Engine VR app, and then select the zip file for the profile you just downloaded, and it will automatically extract and create a directory for that game in the Unreal Engine VR directory, which you can see by clicking the global dir. Things to note as well that these games are not designed for VR, so they can be performance intensive. Even on my 4090, I have seen some chug. So it's important, lower the in-game graphic settings, lower the resolution scale, enable space warping, drop your frame rates, and use TSR where possible. Now you will want to know what games can you play with this mod, and how do I know what I can actually try out? So there are a few ways. The first is to look at the testing document that will give you a ranking on all the games that were tested for their out of the box performance with this mod. I will link this down below in the description and you'll want to filter here by A to Z so you'll see all the A ranked games at the top. This document even has a Steam Winter Sale section that will tell you what games are available for an incredibly discounted price and how well they play and their PC performance. So if you don't have the best rig, you can see what you can play here without having to shed out too much on an intense gaming rig, or if you haven't got a lot of money, you can see what games are available for a great discount. So the next way is to find games that are not in this list. How do we check if they are Unreal supported? So you can use Google obviously, but you can be more definitive by going to Steam and using its database. Go to the Steam DB, I will link this down below. Go to the technology page and look for the engine, Unreal. You then have a search panel and a list of all the Unreal developed titles that you can try and filter by year and rating. 
You can also look at the Unreal Engine VR Discord channels in the flat to vr server. It has a very nicely designed page full of panels with supported games and user comments for tips and tricks to be aware of around performance or hardware constraint. This is a really great way to possibly get some interesting information that you would otherwise be in the dark about. But what about your existing game libraries? So there is this app, I will link it down below, called Raypal that you should download that will tell you what games in your library are Unreal Engine titles. You'll go to the GitHub, download the MSI and run it to install the app. Now open the application. That's all you need to do. It will now display the Unreal Engine games that you have available in the Epic Store and your Steam Store and their version. Now we know how to discover games. Where can I actually get the games, purchase the games? Where is the best place for me to try as many as I possibly can for the least money? Because all you need is the game executable. The platform doesn't matter so much with this modification. Of course, there is Steam with the Steam sale. Absolutely fantastic. Keep an eye on those sales. There is also the Epic Game Store, which offers free titles and games like Fortnite. And of course, my favorite one, which I think is the most bang for your buck, is the Xbox Game Pass is available on PC. You can even sign up for just one pound for a month's free trial. Then after that, it's not that expensive, cheaper than purchasing a game every month. And you'll get access to an absolute huge library of titles, Unreal Engine titles for cheaper than buying a single game. This is a fantastic option to get the greatest deal to stretch your funding. But check if Xbox have a few games that you want to experience before actually purchasing and signing up to that subscription, of course. Okay, so this is the page where you can, well, edit all of the settings, but I'm using the profile that they provided. So all we should really do is set the standing height, set the standing origin, recenter the view. And then let's go, double click the sticks in. This is it, am I good, am I in? Press forward, and if I don't go forward, I'm slightly off. Yeah, we're good, we're good, let's turn. Oh my gosh, it is freaking gorgeous. Look at this hobo. Oh, we're in. Go to blood and gore. Oh. <laughs> You can take heads just come flying off. Well, my aim is not good there. There we go. A bit lower than I thought. I needed to farm a bit. Oh yeah, the crosshair is a little off from where I want to aim. I love the music. Everything feels so epic as I'm walking up these stairs. What I like about this is that you can go to the options, go to gameplay, and you can turn like the elements on the HUD completely off if you wanted to make it real VR style. So yeah, clean. There we go. Apply. The Y and X button are for the pause. But nothing on screen now. In the dick. Oh look, I got to shoot an enemy in the D achievement. <laughs> oh, you hear the squid when you hit them. It's rather satisfying. Right, I need to move out the way of getting hurt. So that is how to set up the Unreal Engine VR modification. This is a brief overview. I am going to go even more in depth, but this is to get you started. Where to find games? Where to find games that are Unreal developed and how to set up and get playing immediately. Please check out my YouTube channel and subscribe for next time. Have a great week. Happy gaming. Good day.